so if we're talking about overscheduling, I am probably a very good example of it. Um, I am doing a lot of things all at once. One of the biggest things is homework. Why do I assign large homework assignments? I think that um, there's kind of what I stated before. There's um, a part of this like personal responsibility where homework is an expectation and it will be an expectation when you go to high school and college and managing your time is important. And so I create time at home to be able to um, to be able to get that work done because I think that that is a skill that we need to learn. It, there's a lot of homework. I, I have a lot, of, like I've got a lot of homework for math. I've got a bunch of homework for math and for Spanish every day. And many times I also have quite a bit of homework for English because it seems like there's another paper due every other week. And, as, and it seems to me, at least, that big tests and large assignments seem to be all due at the exact same time. Okay, so um, in terms of timing and how I plan out assignments, I do put some thought into it. And some of the things that I think about include, well, what are the kids doing in their other classes? And at Edgewood, we have a, a shared document with all the teachers that we're with a calendar where we're supposed to fill in, like, when English is having a big paper due, when math is having a test, when social studies is having something else. So we're all supposed to put all of our big assessments on there so that we can track um, how the teachers are, what other teachers are doing in their classes so that we try not to overload the students. However, I also, another large thing, a large thing of mine that I do is guitar. <laughs> Most of my procrastination is video games. I play video games quite a lot. Um, I have almost completely mastered the art of playing a video game while pretending to do work. That's good, right? Also, on Saturdays I have a class, a science class, and we do chemistry stuff. Yes, I am overscheduled. I have lacrosse practices, I have lacrosse training, I have a job coaching, I have multiple hours of homework each night, and I'm also in clubs at school, so I have to work outside of school for that. Um, I don't have that much time to hang out with my friends, and I lose a lot of sleep when I have to study and play lacrosse. I'm not trying to do the best in one specific class, I'm just trying to get overall good grades and everything. Every subject matters and not one subject should be more important than another. Um, I just keep working hard and knowing that it's all going to pay off later. I think that my advice to kids who feel very overwhelmed because they have so much going on and, they have, and they're, they're feeling very overscheduled is first of all to, to prioritize and say what is the most important thing? What is the thing that I need to do? Um, and create a list that way. And I think also like take it day by day. Create a schedule, create an assignment notebook, create a to-do list, but not a to-do list for like the week, like a to-do list for the hour, a to-do list for like when I get home before my practice. Um, and put it into manageable chunks so that it works out for you. You have to be a good planner and you have to kind of think ahead at the same time. Um, so that would be my advice for people that are feeling a little overwhelmed and feeling overscheduled. Things that should be fun sometimes like feel stressful, like hanging out with friends and like going to bar and bat mitzvahs. Those are things that should be fun, but then they those are also things that com compile on to to your schedules. So it's all about like planning ahead for the fun things and the stressful things and making making room for both. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.